Today is Black Friday, at least the day I'm filming this is Black Friday, and that's got me thinking about something that's fairly relevant in our hobby, and that is 3D printing. Uh, because of all the sales going on, I'm sure we're going to see a myriad of 3D printers available for good or better prices, and it's going to be very tempting to buy one, because 3D printers are awesome. I mean, how can you not love the concept of putting a spool of something on a machine and then watching it create something out of wizardry? I mean, I know it's technology, but it's wizardry when you look at it. It's amazing. It's super appealing. And it's a lot of fun when it works out and you get parts and with how prevalent it is in our hobby how many 3D printed blasters there are that you can uh, print and get hardware for and have something fun and make it your own color scheme and all those things make 3D printing a fantastic aspect of our hobby. But before you dive in to 3D printing and buying one of your own because they have a sale and things look reasonable, let's talk through a few things to maybe get you to think about that purchase before you go too deep too fast. First off, as has been pointed out in plenty of other places, 3D printing is its own hobby. So you will have a second hobby in addition to Nerf and anything else you may uh, spend your time doing, and that's going to detract from what you can do potentially in other areas. So just be aware of that, that you are going to have to invest a not insignificant amount of time learning the ins and out of 3D printing to get things the way you want them. As easy as it can look at times, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. A lot of things you can fine tune and learn through trial and error. So if you don't have that extra free time, consider that before investing in a 3D printer of your own. Now our second point kind of ties in with that last portion of the first point, and that is the more affordable options for 3D printers often require you to build them yourself, which is not <laughs> not a short task in a lot of situations. And beyond the time investment, there's a comfort factor to this as well. Are you comfortable putting together a 3D printer on your own? Do you have the time to troubleshoot it again, as mentioned before, and get things up and running? If not, you're gonna need to spend more for a pre-built unit, and that's gonna, well, not be cheap in a lot of cases. Which brings me to my third point, and that is troubleshooting. Because something will go wrong with your printer. It's going to happen, it's only a matter of time. Are you comfortable fixing your 3D printer? If not, that's gonna be a red flag because you need to know how to maintain your 3D printers. It's an integral part of it because it's not going to work if you don't. And that comes back to that comfort factor in point two of putting the, the 3D printer together. Uh, now, if you buy one pre-assembled, that's great, you save yourself some time, but you lose the knowledge of understanding how something works when you put it together. So if you aren't comfortable maintaining, repairing, pot uh, potentially upgrading your 3D printer so certain aspects work better, this is another thing you need to consider before jumping into 3D printing because it is a very important, I would argue, integral part of owning a 3D printer. Now there may be the rare case where someone has had just the the golden egg of 3D printers and had next to zero or zero problems with it, but that is, that is not even close to the norm. So be prepared for that. I would highly recommend looking into uh, as many resources on 3D printing as possible to find out if you have the time, understanding, and knowledge, and willingness to do all the things necessary to maintain and operate a 3D printer for the Nerf hobby, or any hobby you want to use it with. Because again, they're fantastic, they're so cool, and I love the things that we get in our community from them. But I don't want anyone to get all hyped up and super excited and get a 3D printer in and then have things not go the way they thought they would. I want you to understand that it's a time investment. It's the time investment I'm not willing to make. I was loaned a 3D printer and tried uh, uh, working with it and had some fun, but then when it got to maintenance, I found that it wasn't for me so much. So that was my learning experience. Uh, and I don't want that to happen to any of you where you're excited to buy one, you get one, then, then you know, hundreds of dollars later, this isn't the thing for you. 
and that money could have been spent elsewhere on something you would have enjoyed for longer. So one last thing I want to bring up here, and that is space. Do you have the space for a 3D printer, all the filament you're going to acquire, um, all the prints and, and everything else that goes with it? And not only that, do you have a place that's appropriate for it? Uh, not necessarily something you want to have running right next to your, you know, bed in your bedroom or if you have your computer set up where you play games throughout the day, do you want to have it running right next to you if you're in a confined space? You also have to worry about smell. Uh, it doesn't necessarily smell the greatest, so if that concerns you. And again, if you're printing in certain filaments, you absolutely need uh, ways to deal with the fumes because they are not healthy. So just more factors. And is it a place that is sturdy and stable? Because if your surface for the 3D printer is going to sway or rock, uh, that's gonna affect your print quality. So just really do a thorough investigation of if you have the space, the time, the ability, and the willingness to invest in the 3D printing hobby. Because it's wonderful. Again, I love it. It's amazing. But just make sure it's right for you. I don't want anyone to, you know, spend money on something and then be disappointed. I've got a lot of respect for the people that uh, do run 3D printing farms or even just personal 3D printers for their own projects, the people that create the wonderful things in our hobby we get to print. There's so much cool stuff that I respect out there and uh, I really love that we have it in our hobby and I hope that some of you after going through this can say, yeah, all of those things. Yeah, I, I got it. Super into it. That's awesome. But if I save one person from making a decision that they potentially regret, um, even better because I want people to enjoy this hobby, not feel disappointed by it when things don't go necessarily the way that you would like them to. So just something I was thinking about today and wanted to share that short video. And uh, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend if you're in here in the U.S. celebrating it. I hope you're all safe and doing well. So that's enough out of me. I will see you all next time.